Oh. What's good, Uncle Forrest? Welcome back to the McQueen channel, man. You know what I'm saying? It's another banger. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here in this red room. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna be 1,000 with you. I am loaded as hell right now. Okay? But it's all good because I'm only here to spread this message in the beginning of this video to make sure you guys hit the like and make sure you guys subscribe because you already know with all of my videos I deliver, but with the pick of my videos, oh man, it's a different beast. And I can definitely pledge that you will find that this video is absolutely amazing and very entertaining and it will make you laugh you probably piss your pants, you know what I'm saying? So, so, with all that being said, I need you guys to hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe because I'm going out of my way to make sure I get these bangers for y'all. So, with that being said, I'll have a message for you at the end about the Patreon and also something very special. Enjoy the video. Excuse me, excuse me. How you doing? Hi. Why you looking at me all so, so mad? Damn, you so angry in this damn mall? Oh, oh okay, my name's McQueen. Ashley. Nice to meet you. Where are you walking to right now, Ashley? Blooming Okay, for sure, for sure. So I just wanted to come over here and tell you that I think you're very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why you look so nervous? I'm not. Well, you wasn't ready for the top G to come up and say something to you? I wasn't ready for anyone to come up. But you don't get niggas approaching you or something? I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. For sure. Just to be very blunt for, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a man. And as a man, I feel like as a man, you should be able to tell a woman what you want up front. A lot of these little boys love to sit there and try and lie to get some pussy nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I am a man. I am competent. So, I wanted to let you know, girl, you look good. I don't want to lie. You know I want to f but I don't want to try. <laughs> You have a boyfriend? I do. Okay, well what color is his Bugatti? He doesn't have a Bugatti. Oh, I suspect it as such, you know? Because he's a broke boy and I'm rich. In my essence, in my smell, and everything that defines me as a man. Excuse me, excuse me. How you doing? Hi. Hi, my name's McQueen. I just came over because I thought you were very beautiful. Hey, Mary, nice to meet you. Mary, Mary and I had a little lamb. Okay, okay. Where are you walking to right now? I'm going to Bloomingdale's. For sure, you look really nice in the sundress. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. What you staring me up and down like that for? You like what you see? Oh, she said a little bit. Okay, for sure. Well, yeah, I like what I see too, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to let you know that I've escaped the matrix. And now that I've done so, I'm looking for a woman to spread my seed with. Because life without babies is asinine. How do you feel about that? Are you okay? What do you mean am I okay? Like, are you okay? I mean, you just said I look good, right? <laughs> I'm just shocked right now. What are you shocked about? Now, I don't have to say much about myself. I'm sure you probably think that I'm cute. Is this true? Yeah, you're cute. For sure. She should say, yeah, you're cute. Okay, for sure. Know, you what, you want to look at my ass or something? Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? Nice height. Okay. How tall are you? I'm 5'2". Okay, for sure. What color is your punani? What color is my what? Your punani. Oh, my God. I do. These, this is like, you know, questions that I got I to gotta do a screening. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I can't just, you know, get with any girl. You know, a lot of girls are sluts nowadays. Yeah. So I got to make sure that I choose the right mate. You feel me? So yeah. I ask these questions because if, you know, we get in the bedroom and your punani is uh, purple, it's going to be an issue. Oh, I don't know about purple. Because, you know, purple is a sign that you've been f***ing ran through as a slut. So I just want to make sure that you're not that color. You feel me? Oh, definitely not. No, oh, okay. Definitely take care of myself. Okay. So, so your kitty is, is, is very well groomed and taken care of. Very well. Okay, for sure. Wait, what did you just say? I think what you're just shocked about is that most niggas are too pussy to come up to you and tell you exactly what they want. And me, as a man, because I am competent and capable, I've walked up to you and told you exactly what I want. I want to spread my seed because you, my friend, have a nice ass. <laughs> And you know what I'm saying? And I, I just, you know what I'm saying, feel like it's very appropriate for as a man for me to come up and be very, very honest with you. Okay. Because if I wasn't honest with you, what do girls say? You know what I'm saying? If you niggas would just be honest from the very get-go, everything would be straight. That's what y'all say, right? Yeah. It's okay. So here's a man standing before you being very honest. And here you are confused. This looks to me as if women aren't prepared for what they ask for. Unless you're willing to prove me wrong. I'm just a little taken back because I just met you right now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I was taken back once I saw you walk by too, you know? I saw the cheeks just moving left and right. <laughs> I was taken back, you know? So, you know, this is life, baby. You know, we get taken back sometimes. But, you know, the beautiful thing about life is if you have the right partner next to you, we could always, you know what I'm saying, go back to where it all began. And like I said, I've escaped the matrix. And in doing so, that makes me a very, very competent and capable man. Top G. The tops of all is top is G. Any G that you can think of, I'm on top of that nigga. How do you feel about me uh, wanting to f*** you? Well, I have a boyfriend. When are you going to stop telling lies now, girl? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think you would be sitting there talking to me right now if you truly had a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend-ish. Okay, see, I knew the lies. Like, uh, that's why I continue to talk, because I'm, I'm not even hearing that shit. If your supposed boyfriend was to see you talking to a top G like myself right now, how do you think you would feel if you actually had one? Of course he'd be upset. <laughs> but see, you probably wouldn't, I mean, I'm going to assume that you, you know what I'm saying, you have a good heart. I do. So if you had a good heart, then you wouldn't be able to talk to a nigga like me if you truly had a boyfriend. So therefore, that's the reason why you're standing here right now. Mm -hmm. So now that that's out I the way. I standing here because I think you're cute. You could. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you truly had a boyfriend, you going to sit there and entertain other niggas? Don't be a fucking slut. So you don't got no motherfucking boyfriend, okay? So back to my topic, you feel like as a man, we should be very 
able to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because what do girls say? Oh my God, if y'all just kept it honest, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This never. Right. So I'm keeping it honest with you right now. I want to fuck. I'm sure as a woman, how old are you? 26. You're 26? Okay, so look, baby, you getting around the time where you want to have some babies. You want to start popping some babies out, huh? Uh huh. Okay, yeah, see, look at you. <laughs> Your body getting red. You just met me right now. Of course, I just met you. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't never heard of love at first sight? Yeah, I have. Love at first sight of ass cheeks? You don't know, I'm just saying, you know, because you walked past me, that's all I saw, you know, but now that I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying, I see you have a beautiful face, you seem like you have a per beautiful personality, you have nice lips, you know? Thank you. Yes. I think what you're throwing off by is that a man is being very, very honest with you. Yeah, I'm taking it back. Extremely to honest. Oh, yeah. You know. I'm shocked. Okay. Most men won't tell you this. We're not going to know if we like you or not until we bust a fucking nut. Yeah. So you okay. What does it take to be able to fuck you? <laughs> you can text me. Okay. We can go from there? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Are you going to send me a picture of your punani? I don't know about that. Maybe. Okay. You be sending you be sending pussy pictures and shit? <laughs> you don't? <laughs> you laugh like as if you do this on a regular. I'm going to give you my phone number. And you can text me. Okay. You can go over from there. All right. Sounds good to me. All it was right. nice to meet you, actually. Nice I'll be in uh, contact with you. Okay. Expect okay. a text from the top G. So what is your response to all this? Because I'm doing a lot of talking, so I need you to tell no. me what you what's on your mind, girl. Maybe you can take me on a date. And then we can talk. And then I can spray my seed with you, and then we can, you know what I'm saying, have powerful babies and then take over and conquer the world, right? Because look, this, this whole thing is all about conquest with me, you know? I don't like to play the same game that these little peons be playing. Life is all about conquest with me. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Conquest. <laughs> I'm so shocked. No, it's the top G. I understand, you know what I'm saying? Anybody will be shocked from the top G. Excuse me. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Oh, you looking me up and down already. Damn, what's the deal, girl? How you doing? Good. My name's McQueen. Nice to meet you. I'm a tab G, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to come over here and say something to you because, like, you know, like I told you, I thought you were very beautiful. Damn, you got some smooth ass skin, girl. What's, what's going on? You drinking sparkling water? No. No? Why you, <laughs> are you like, are you lost the words right now? I know I'm the tab G, but shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got the, how old are you? 19. Okay, so you still learning some, some vocabulary. Uh, this has got to be what it is. You know what I'm saying, what are you, are you black or something? You a nigga? Huh? So I said, are you a nigga? No. No? Not meaning like, like you have a penis. Uh -oh. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying, are you black? Okay, what you mix with? I'm black and Mexican. Okay, so you like tequila and tacos and all that shit? I guess. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you said I could take you on a date? Yeah. Okay. I can take you on a date. Okay, for sure. Well, I'm going to need your number. Woo, okay. She said, woo. What was the woo for? <laughs> I'm just taken back right now you, by everything. You're taken back? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Funny. I'm funny? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, you was smiling the whole time. I mean, you're cute. But you're kind of crazy, but I like it. Oh, it's, oh see, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I can tell. I can tell you like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll text you, and then later on, I'll hit you up, and then, you know what I'm saying, we'll catch up. It's nice it's to nice meet you. Meet yeah. You. But listen to me. I just want to let you know that going forward, if this turns into a relationship, I could be madly in love with you. I could be willing to die for you. <laughs> I could be a little willing to run through walls for you. Okay. Okay? We'll see. But I will still fuck that bitch. Oh, my God. Watch me. <laughs> okay? Bye. All right, bye. Have a nice day. To me, you guys, you don't know? They do. Don't do that not. It's like all black niggas eat chicken. It's a fact. Now listen, you know, since you don't got much to say, you know what I'm saying, I'll say it for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're still sitting here talking to me. You must like what you see. Because if not, you, you could have just kept walking. Because you look like a bitch. All right, hey. Yeah, you look like someone that would just completely just blow a nigga off. I'm just being honest. Was you a mom or something? Like, you do you, you do all this shit? No. Okay. But do you got like 10 words in your vocabulary? Like, what's, what's going on right now? Are you just shy? Are you shy? Yeah. Okay, it's all good. I understand. Well, listen, you know what I'm saying? As a woman, I understand that you're looking for the most competent man out there to provide security, which is understandable. And to that, I say, my unmatched perspicacity, coupled with my sheer indefatigable ability, makes me one of the most feared men in the world and in any realm of human endeavor. What was that? I said that my unmatched perspicacity, Coupled with my sheer indefatigable ability, makes me one of the most feared opponents in any realm of human endeavor. Do you want me to say it a third time? No. Okay. Excuse me, bitch. Hey. What? No, no. I was I was talking to someone over there. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to get your attention. How you doing? I'm I'm, I'm doing good. What's your name? Yelly. Yelly. My name's McQueen, also known as the Top G. Top G. Yeah. yeah. Listen, baby. All you gotta do is ask me, and I can make you look classy. You feel me? How do you feel about that? What? Say it one more time. I said all you gotta do is ask me, and I can make you look classy. 
What do you mean by that? I mean, you got to use context clues, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look like a smart woman. So what do, what do you think I mean when I when I say that? All you got to do is ask me, and I can make you look classy. It's a pretty straightforward statement, so don't you? Who can make it happen? Oh, for, I'm in plenty ways, baby. Okay. Through intercourse, through, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's so many ways we can make it happen. I mean, I know those words are probably too big for your vocabulary, you know? Because like I say, you know, it's obvious that you... I was like Shakespeare. What, you, did you just call me a nigga? Is that, is that what you just said? Can you say it again? Nigga. Oh, okay. For sure. I just wanted to make sure there was no ER because, you know, so we, I could have... But anywho, I'm something like Shakespeare, you know? Like I said, I'm the top G, you know? So, I mean, that would mean that, uh, you know, I have the same capability and competence as Shakespeare, you know? I also have a big penis. Well, girls like honesty, right? Uh, niggas always lie. Y'all some liars. It's that whatever. But here I am being honest, and you standing in, staring at me like I'm crazy. That. Exactly. I'm the top G. I'm not like everybody else, nigga. Of course. Who, who does say that? Nobody. And that's why I'm different. And that's why you're still standing here like this, talking to me right now. You keep looking up and down. You like what you see or something? There's a stain on your pants. Dang. Oh, you see? Well, you know, that was just my coffee, you know, earlier from this morning. You know, so just go ahead and uh, excuse that. Besides that... <laughs> I think that was actually just an excuse to look at my penis. I'm saying I'm not gonna sit there and judge you, or you know, because it is. It's like I say, there is a lot to look at. Um, where are you walking to right now, Ariel? The Gold's Gym. The Gold's Gym? Yeah. Dressed like this? <laughs> the fuck you about to do in there? Stretch. You about to go in Gold's Gym and, and do all this with all this shit on? Yeah. So you clearly ain't here for looking for attention. No. Look at the clothes that you're wearing right now. Can I see your hand real quick? Turn around. Your ass cheeks are just, they could never be any more exposed right now. My ass cheeks are not exposed. They are exposed. Not exposed like your, your bare ass cheeks, but I'm saying like the, 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 the clothing couldn't get any more tighter. Yeah, I can, okay. oh, oh, I'm sure it can. But you got some tighter clothes at the crib or some shit? Your punani is talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Because that shit poking out. No, it's not. It is. You got a fat fupa, girl. You want to be one of my bitches? Damn. You're what? You say you want to be one of my bitches? Is that what you call everybody? No. You got multiple bitches or what? I mean, do I look like a man that's got multiple bitches? Maybe. So, you know, it's a pretty rhetorical <laughs> no, question. I'm good. I'm huh? Good. What do you mean? Why not? I'm not referred to as a bitch. Well, I mean, I was just, I'm not saying that you individually be referred to as a bitch. I'm just saying, you, you know. one of your bitches. No. So I would be referred to as no, a bitch. No. See, like, if we was, if we, if I was to take you on a date with one of my bitches, right? You know, then. One of my bitches, so then I would be a bitch too. No, no, you gotta let me finish, bitch. Okay. I say, so, <laughs> what? No, no, so I, how you doing? Damn! When we go on a date, you know what I'm saying, I got all my bitches with me, you know what I'm saying? I won't call you a bitch because, you know what I'm saying, you're not a bitch, you feel me? Why do you call. Because you're gonna be my top bitch, that's why. I'm gonna be a top bitch. Yeah, you're gonna I'm be not the gonna top be bitch. bitch. I'm gonna be a top bitch. Yeah, you're gonna be a top bitch next to the top G, you feel me? You seem like you're pretty interested. I just wanted to hear what you had to say. Okay, but listen to me though, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, rephrase the uh, proposal to you. So, oh, we got matching slippers, baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a match made in heaven. Look at you, you stuck your toe and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But I like this hard on your uh, on your titty. On my titty? Yeah. My chest. Your chest is your titty from a, <laughs> on a female body. Let's not be dumb here. All right, all right. You know what I'm saying? About no, no, no. Listen to me, though. So you telling me on a Saturday that you come with these tight-ass clothes, walk around in the mall by yourself not to get attention? No. But you just say you about to go inside Gold's Gym, where there's a bunch of niggas lifting a bunch of weights, brawling as shit, and you got sandals on. You no, I don't have a problem with it. Okay. I just want to understand what's the reason. So you just woke up today and was like, you know, I'm about to walk inside Gold's Gym with this fucking tight ass clothing on and just stretch and then walk back home. That's what the daily schedule is for Ariel? That's crazy. I'm gonna lie, Ariel, you know what I'm saying? You don't got too much to motherfucking say, do you? What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Well, you don't act like one. I know, I've been told. What sign are you? I'm a cancer. What, was, was you opening up for my penis or some shit? No. Oh. Just so, like, you, you're a cancer, yeah. How you know I'm a cancer? That's a fact. And I could love you a lot, you know? I could be madly in love with you, willing to die for you, willing to run through walls for you, willing to go to war for you, willing to fix a pipe for you, but I will still fuck that bitch. Yeah, you're a cancer. It just sounds like you're not even talking about anything. Okay, but see, you just reverted back, you know what I'm saying, after you just thought I wasn't talking about nothing. So I know, but then you started to talk again. Okay, well, I'm talking again. Look, listen to me, baby. Like, I don't even know any girl that has been called a bitch consecutively this many times and still, you know what I'm saying, wants to see her and I talk to me. I walk away, but you won't let me. Well, I'm, I, ain't nobody stopping you, baby. You know what I'm saying? But you mind if I touch your ass cheeks? No! You gonna regret this. Not fucking with the top G. So what color is uh, your Bugatti? My Bugatti? Mm-hmm. I don't have one. Oh, I already knew. Would you like to what see a Bugatti? Oh, it's, you can come see it. It's outside in the parking lot. Show me a picture of it. 
I, why, why don't you just walk over there with me? You can see it in person. It's better than pictures. See, that's the problem with all you bitches nowadays, man. All you guys want to do is just take pictures of everything and videos and this and that. You know I'm saying I'm a type G. I don't do all that fucking low vibrational matrix filled shit. Now, if you walk over with me right now, not only will you look good walking next to a type G with a coffee stain on his pants, but you'll also get to see a nice, beautiful Bugatti outside in the parking lot. Excuse me. Excuse me. How you doing? Good, my name's McQueen. I just came over because I thought you were very beautiful. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, where you walking to right now? Um, shopping. Oh, okay, for sure. I just want to let you know I just dropped 100 bands on the wrist because Flexing got these broke boys pissed. Excuse me? So I just dropped 100 bands on the wrist because Flexing got these broke boys pissed. Okay. Yeah, I'm God's okay. favorite, baby. You see what? I said, what does that mean? I mean, that you know, it's exactly what you, you know, what I said it means. You know, so I've, I just dropped 100 bands on the wrist because Flexing got these broke boys pissed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, saw, I know you're looking at my wrist and there's nothing there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because I left it at the crib because I don't want nobody to get robbed. I know you've been hearing about all these robbers over here in L.A. lately because I'm the top G. I'm not going to be one of the niggas getting robbed out here. You understand? Yeah. She said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you about to go right now. You about to go inside Bloomingdale's? Yeah. What you about to shop for? I'm just shopping, to be honest. Oh, okay. Like, well, you like, you like expensive shit? Not really. Not really? Yeah, you lying like well, a motherfucker. Of course I do. Okay. I'm you walking like... into Bloomingdale's right now. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you about to buy some expensive shit. Right. I can be, uh, you know what I'm saying, your provider right now today. You know, because I am the top G. I know you was about to spend some money, but listen, bitch, you ain't got to spend shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I can walk in here and I can spend it for you because I'm the motherfucking top G. And like I just said, I spent 100 bands on the wrist because Flexi got the broke boys pissed. You know what I'm trying to say? You get, yeah, you catch my drift now, baby. You don't listen to me. I'm God's favorite, okay? You know what I'm saying? I am the chosen one. I am impeccable. I am competent and capable in I any realm. It. I love the affirmation. Hey, I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know what it is. You feel me? So how do you feel about that? I would like to see your Bugatti. Okay, well, it's outside of the parking lot. Let's start off with me getting your number first, though. Okay. You didn't expect to run into a Top G today, huh? What color is your Bugatti again? I didn't tell you it. You gotta come see it. Okay. It's a Bugatti, not Bugatti. Well, do you wanna walk with me or what you wanna do? Yeah? All right, come on, let's go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. You got a nice ass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. She said, okay. <laughs> I like your nails, too. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, listen, you should let me get your number so I can take you out sometime. Um, sure. I'm sure, okay. You gonna drop 100 bands on my wrist? <laughs> I mean, shit, you know what I'm saying? If you get, if you give me some, you drink sparkling water? Yeah, I do. Okay. That's random. It's not random because, you know, it's a proven fact that if uh, women drink sparkling water, the pussy tastes better. Oh. Yeah, so uh, if I'm gonna drop 100 bands on your wrist, I'm gonna need some <laughs> pussy. You know what I'm saying? So, so letting you know right now, I'm gonna cheat on you if we get in a relationship. Damn. Dang. You know, it's only, it's only, it's I only mean, right. If you drop 100 bands on my wrist, you could do whatever you want. I don't, I'm already know. I'm the top G. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, well, you're Mariah, right? Yeah. Okay, for sure. It was nice All to meet right. you. I'm gonna nice hit you up. You. All right. I ain't even gonna hold you right now. I am loaded a sh right now. This is the end of the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. If you didn't, well, you just a hater because I know damn well I made you laugh. I love you guys to death. I appreciate you for watching all my videos. You guys know how much I love y'all before. All I need you guys to do is hit the like button and make sure you guys subscribe, man. I'm saying we hit a million by the end of this year. I told you, man, we put all the focus on the main channel. You see, that's what I'm doing. I'm delivering and all I need y'all to do is do your part and deliver on that goddamn like button and that subscribe, man. And before we finish, make sure you check out this Patreon trailer so you can go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon because it's late. And I have proof from this trailer. Hey, run around with a six oh bad bitch with a lip oh that bitch got big throat. Okay, try to get it, get a little low. Try to fit it, get deep stroke. Shouldn't call out bingo. Yeah, and Matt, black.